I'm very dizzy. I mean, I need to talk to a doctor right away. I just got here and I'm about to work a double. It's a part inspired by urban legends. I love urban legends. And there's this urban legend from the 90s where a person wakes up in a bathtub and they're missing a kidney. And this is sort of my story of like, where did that kidney go? And like, why did it go somewhere? This is good to go. Is this a joke? You lost thousands of dollars worth of organs. If I don't bring him a kidney, I'm dead. Regina, I would describe her as this psychopathic tornado of chaos with a wonky walk. She kind of lives in this bubble and only really sees what's in front of her and how to get from A to B. And doesn't matter what she does to get there, she does it. Why would you bring this cousin of yours into this if you knew she would kill people? I sometimes have too much faith in humanity. That is what I like about you. I think for me, my sensibility is always holding stuff together, keeping stuff together, trying not to panic in situations. So I think that's how I relate to Karen. But yes, I had like five surgeries in three years. So I dealt with a lot of nurses. Cops are coming here. I'm gonna tell them who did this. You killed an innocent man for no reason. You know, I didn't really understand completely the tone until I saw it all come together. But Bria just set the world, and it was really easy for us to all kind of come in with our individual characters. So I kind of came up with this crazy dark comedy that uh, people let me make. I'm just going to have to solve this problem myself. I'm not leaving until you give me a kidney. 